Hey folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, a series of adventures for the Sundered Skies setting, which is a Savage Worlds game. Try saying that after your average Thursday night in a college town. Sundered Skies, to recap, we reviewed it earlier in our sessions, is a dark fantasy role-playing game where the world has ex essentially exploded. All of the landmass are now islands floating in a void, and you can fly skyships to and from each island and get into various sorts of adventures in that game. The races are somewhat new, somewhat changed, except for dwarves, because they never really seem to change in any game. It's kind of nice to have something stable, you know? Dwarves. There you go. Anyway... Sundered Skies, it's a dark fantasy game. I like it a lot because it reminds me quite a bit of Dark Sun, which for those who've been playing D&D &D for a while will remember Dark Sun. Dark Sun was a really dark fantasy role-playing game that had the world sort of in an environmental destruction, and it was all desert, and you had to fight to survive, etc. Sundered Skies reminds me of that quite a bit. These are individual adventures for the Sundered Skies game. These are available as PDF downloads from the Triple Ace Games website. Triple Ace Games, they make a variety of really awesome uh, Savage Worlds games, but enough of an ad for them. Let's get into the individual adventures themselves. One of the available adventures is Fate of the Summoner. This takes you after a globe madness outbreak in a town. This takes you on a quest to find people from a various from a sort of a haunted or a bad luck mission and what's going on with them, eventually taking you to a ghost ship that disappeared some time ago. I don't want to go into too many more details for fear of ruining the adventure itself, but what's nice about this is like almost all of their PDF downloads, there's a little button you can push that's basically printer friendly, which turns off a lot of the background and just makes it black text white background and pretty pictures so that you don't burn through a whole mess of toner when you're trying to print these out. I have to print stuff out. I'm, I'm not that good on a computer screen. The adventure itself takes you to various islands across the sundered skies and essentially gives you a nice linear adventure to play through that helps you sort of get a feel for the skies and gets you well into an adventure and into sort of dealing with an organization that may or may not be friendly or against you in the future. Another adventure is the Blade of Destiny. This specifically deals with a, a very powerful sword that sort of your characters come into contact with and dealing with that adventure and what that causes. Again, I hesitate to give out too much information simply because I don't want to ruin the adventure for those of you who are going to play this. It is essentially an intelligent weapon that really is going to end up screwing you over unless you do something about it. The final adventure is the Ice Tower. This one's a little bit different from the other ones in that most of the ac action takes place on one specific area, the Draining Sea in the northern part of the skies. There is an island with a tower there, and you have to go investigate it and deal with a lot of the denizens of the draining sea up there while you are trying to do so. I like these adventures a lot. These fit very nicely into the Sundered Sky plot point campaign and all of the other sort of like smaller adventures for you to take a look at and flesh up as you want to. I think Sundered Skies is a really awesome setting that gives you a lot of potential. It's different enough that it's not, oh, look, it's another Orgoger. Let's go kill it and see what's in the treasure in the middle of the 10 by 10 room. I'm going to go get more Funyuns. I'll be right back. It's different from that because the setting itself is fun and has a lot to wrap your brain around, but it's still recognizable as fantasy. This uses the Savage Worlds engine, which in case you haven't been paying attention, is something I like a lot. So if you like Sundered Skies and you want a few more adventures to use in your Sundered Skies game, these are a great thing for you to pick up and take a look at. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming. <laughs>